Alright, here's how to take a bunch of still photos and turn them into an animation using iMovie. I've already showed how to do this in frames. Uh, that tutorial is already uploaded, but now here's how to do it if you have a Mac but don't have frames available. Here's all of my still photos that I took using Photo Booth, but any camera will do. Uh, my first animation I did doing this was done with a very cheap camera. It cost me about 50 bucks. So, those are all the still photos. They're all in a folder together, or a directory if you will. I open up iMovie and let's make a new project. I'm going to go down here and click on this little plus thing to create a new project. You don't want the widescreen format. Most cameras don't take photos in widescreen. They take them closer to standard format. So go ahead and select that. Give your project a new name. I'm just going to keep it new project. And hit create. Okay, I have a new blank project available. And I've got some stuff down here that's been imported for various things. You could ignore all of that. You don't even need to touch that. I'm going to bring my folder back up to the front. It's all my photos in it. I'm going to select all of them. Uh, on a Mac, that's Command A. If you're using iMovie, you're obviously using a Mac. So, you know, Command A to select all. Click and drag all of your photos from the folder right into the project and let go, and it will import all of them. No muss, no fuss. Now, it doesn't import them correctly for an animation. iMovie assumes that you wanted these to be a slideshow. So you start off with Ken Burns effect turned on, which is a little bit of panning and zooming. And it shows each photo, usually for a default of four seconds, which doesn't make for a good animation unless you want to make your audience seasick. So I'm going to press Command A again to select everything. And let's turn off the things that we don't want. I can click on this little gear here for any of these clips now that I've selected everything. Go down to Cropping, Ken Burns, and Rotation. And I'm just going to click this button over here that says Fit. And then hit Done. And now each of these does not have that zooming or panning across that we saw before. It's a little better, but it's still showing each picture for four seconds. We don't want that either, so we're going to click again on that little gear. doesn't matter which of these you click on if you still have them all selected. And we're going to go to Clip Adjustments. And the duration default is 4 seconds. We don't want that. We want it to be 0.1 seconds, which is as fast as we can make them go. Make sure you check Applies to All Stills, so it applies to all of these pictures. Hit Done. And now when I play this, it goes a lot faster. Now what if I want to be spinning around more than once before I fall to my doom? I can do that by clicking on the first image, shift clicking on the last one before I've turned all the way around, and I can copy those, and I can paste, paste, and now I've spun around three times. You can do that to repeat anything. You can do that to have things go backwards. You can drag and drop these to have them go in different places. Double click on a file to you know, move it somewhere else. These are things that if you've done other video editing assignments in my class, you probably are already aware of this. You already know how to add titles by coming over here. You already know how to add transitions. So all of this should be second nature to you already. The new information is how to import all of these files and then edit them so that they appear as quick as possible. Of course, once you've added your title at the beginning, credits at the end, whatever soundtrack you choose to add, given your proper citation for anything you use that wasn't yours, which most likely would be the music, um, then you go into Share, which I have explained before. Go down to either Export using QuickTime or Export Movie. Choose the size format that you want to use and hit export and you have something to hand in. Okay, have fun with this.